Apple Pencil apps for you to take the full potential of your Apple Pencil. Before you start looking like crazy on the App Store, you've actually got the best, my personal favorite app for the Apple Pencil, and that is Apple Notes. Apple Notes for the iPad is native. It's got iCloud Sync, so I can start drawing something on my iPad, and then it's on my iMac, and then it's on my iPhone. It's super powerful. If you simply tap on the lock screen of your iPad, Apple Notes will automatically pop up. You can draw in a regular form, and then if you hold, a perfect shape will pop up. Okay, let's go to the app store. The second app that I wanted to tell you is Notability. In my opinion, there's a bunch of note-taking apps for students on the iPad. There's GoodNotes, there's a bunch of them, but my personal favorite has to be Notability. In terms of design, it's great. You can draw, you can erase, you can highlight, you can annotate, you can bring in images. And one of my favorite things about Notability is that you can actually start recording your class, for example. So you can actually record the voice of your teacher. Maybe you're starting to write down something that the teacher is saying, and then the teacher is speaking very fast. So you're like, hold on, I can't type that and I can't write this fast. Well, you can simply tap record and you will actually record your entire class. Students will understand how useful this actually is. Notability is the best app for note-taking and the best app for drawing has to be Procreate. And I gotta say, I think Apple's favorite app of all time is Procreate because it's brought everybody that has an Apple Pencil to absolutely adore an Apple Pencil for how powerful and how many different options there actually is for drawing, for illustrating, to grabbing a couple notes. It's very powerful. So you've got a bunch of different brushes that you can actually choose from. So from calligraphy, from drawing, from just a pen, a pencil, a highlighter, acrylics, there's so many brushes, which makes anybody that loves illustrating, that loves drawing, just simply adore the iPad because of Procreate. Let's talk about photo editing. Pixel Meter Photo is very powerful on the iPad. 30 desktop class color adjustments, support for over 600 raw image formats. There's tools powered by AI. For example, there's the, this machine learning feature that basically if you have a really crappy image quality photo, you press this and it will actually turn it to, into a very good quality image. You've also got AI automatic photo editing. So you will tap it and your photo will automatically look better. But for the Apple Pencil, there's, there's this one feature that I use constantly, which is the healing tool. You simply tap it and then whatever you wanna erase from this image. Let's say you took a really cute photo with your wife at the beach, but there's one person on the back and he totally ruined your photo, the most beautiful photo in the world. You simply grab your Apple Pencil, you draw that person out and then it's gone forever. You're welcome. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Do you want an Apple Pencil, but it's too expensive? Let me show you the Penovo A4 Pro. It's got practically the same features, but it's third of the price. Tilt sensitivity and accuracy to depict different thickness and depths. And don't worry about scratches and delays since it's got a higher sensitive and accurate signal than an ordinary stylus. No need for a driver, just double click on the power button and it's automatically connected. 30 minutes of charge will give you six hours palm rejection, magnetic design, and so much more. Hit the link in the description if you're interested. You will seriously not believe how much it is. Affinity Designer, my personal favorite iPad app of all time. It's my favorite app on the Mac. It's the most powerful graphic design app. The haters will say that Adobe Photoshop is better, uh, Illustrator is better. On the iPad, there is Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. One's like the equivalent of Photoshop, one is the equivalent for Adobe Illustrator. I can't believe that Affinity Designer on the iPad is equally as good or almost as good as the Mac version. It's as powerful and it's got 95, 90% of the features on the iPad than on the iMac. And that's crazy because on an iPad mini, I can have a desktop class app on my finger trips. Finger trips, not finger trips, fingertips. It's crazy. And with the Apple Pencil, there's a bunch of features like erase, you can select. So if you have the Apple Pencil, definitely get 
Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo if you want to take your graphic design or your photo editing skills to the next level. It's pretty pricey, but if this is your full-time job or if you just truly want to try it out, I definitely, definitely recommend Tuan. Let's say you're bored or maybe you just want to relax. Coloring Book is just an app that is a coloring book. You grab your Apple Pencil and you will simply start drawing or I guess painting a coloring book. It's very simple to use. You've got a bunch of different colors to choose from and you grab out your Apple Pencil and you can simply start relaxing yourself. Maybe you just really enjoy doing a coloring book. There's a bunch of people that love it. So yeah, just download it and if you're bored, just draw it away. Xenia, my girlfriend, is always planning out her agenda of the month or of the week with a PDF or with a white piece of paper on the iPad and with her Apple Pencil. And Pencil Planner is an app that lets you plan out your week, your month, your day. There's a bunch of different templates that you can actually choose from to organize your day, your week, your month. It's for those type of people that like to make their notes or their planners cute. It's as simple as that. I know tons of people who love doing this sorts of stuff. So Pencil Planner, I'm sure they will love it. I'm actually gonna show Pencil Planner to my girlfriend today because she will actually automatically be obsessed with it. Pages and Keynote for iPad actually have Apple Pencil support. And not a lot of people know this, but you can actually annotate stuff on top of your Word document, of your essay. So students can actually, you know, make this really useful. If you're writing out an essay, for example, and you're done, and then you sit on your couch, you grab your Apple Pencil and you can start annotating stuff that you want to correct. Or maybe you're in a presentation, or maybe you're a teacher, for example, and you want to start annotating or correcting certain things from a presentation, from an essay, whatever the heck you want. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any Apple Pencil apps that I haven't mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be happy because life is good, and I'll see you in the next I one. Tell Peace. You